Hello, this is Tyler, Technical Evangelist for Portrait Displays. In this video, we are going to be walking you step by step through calibration of a 2020 LG OLED television using Calman Home for LG software. This is going to be a standard dynamic range or BT709 or Rec709 calibration tutorial. Separate HDR and Dolby Vision video tutorials will also be posted to our YouTube channel. Items you will need for calibration are a PC or Mac running bootcamp or virtual machine, Calman Home for LG software, a compatible colorimeter, and a USB drive that's formatted to FAT32. Okay, we're going to show you where to download the video files that you need to place on a USB thumb drive to calibrate your LG TV. So you're going to go to our website, which is portrait.com. And go to support and then go to resource center and then start typing LG pattern generator right here and then scroll down to here now this is where you download all of the three files now let me explain the difference so we have two SDR ones I would recommend just downloading this extended length 10 hour one in case you want to do a longer calibration. Um, by default, each video file of the, the SDR, HDR, and Dolby Vision are only one hour long. But if you want to perform a longer calibration in SDR and measure, you know, thousand, thousand points or 3000 or 5000 points, that can take longer than an hour. So you need a, a longer video file. So you just right click on here and go to save as or download linked file and then save those onto your computer and then put all three of them on a FAT32 thumb drive that you can plug into the TV. So that is the process for downloading your video files and putting them on a thumb drive. Now that you've downloaded your video files and put them on your thumb drive, plug it into a USB port on the television. Also go into the TV's menu system and write down what the IP address of the TV is. Depending on if your TV is connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you will need to go into a different sub-menu of the TV. Now that we have our IP address, we can start the calibration process. I have opened Calman and now I'm going to navigate to the LG workflow. So I'm going to click on the Calman button here, go to open workflow template, Go to Display Specific and select LG AutoCal. Here is where we're going to pick if we're doing an OLED or an LCD, and then whether we're doing SDR, HDR, or Dolby Vision. In this case, we are calibrating an OLED television for SDR. We're going to hit Next. Now we are going to connect to our colorimeter and the internal pattern generator in the LG TV. Now before we do this, we need to start the video file that you put on the thumb drive. So on your LG remote, bring up the home screen and navigate to the photo and video app. It's purple. And navigate through the folder structure of your thumb drive until you come to the patterns that you put on the thumb drive. You want to start the SDR video. We recommend using the 10 hour long one. We do supply a one hour long one as well, but it, the 10 hour long one just gives you extra time so you're not in a hurry to hit that one hour limit. Once your video is starting to play in the internal media player, we can go back to Calman. Place your colorimeter on the screen of your TV and plug in your USB port into your computer running Calman. Then we're gonna go here and go to find meter. Now we're connected to our i1 Display Pro Plus. We're going to select RAW XYZ. If you have a spectroradiometer as well, you can follow our meter profiling tutorial previous to running this. It is available on our YouTube page. Okay, the next is finding the source, which is our internal pattern generator in the LG. We're going to hit the Find Source button Go to LG, select 2020, 
enter the IP address of our TV. This is the address of the TV that I'm working with. Hit connect. And on screen of the TV, you will see an eight digit pin code pop up. Enter that here. Hit OK. We want to make sure we're using a 10% window pattern here. And then for OLED, for a reference night mode, we want to change our gamma formula to power and then enter 2.4. Then hit enter. If you would like to use an alternative white point, you can enter the XY values here. Now that we've entered that, we can go to next. Okay, before we take our pre-calibration measurements, I'm going to recommend the, the configuration of the measurement device, which is an X-Rite i1 Display Pro. So we want standard exposure mode one second. We want to enable low light handler, and I recommend setting it to five seconds, and then the low light trigger 1.0. So once that is set, we're gonna hit our read series button to take our pre-calibration measurements. During these measurements, in between each patch, you will see a flash of magenta that is completely normal. Okay, our pre-calibration measurements are complete, so we can go on to the next step. Okay, now we're gonna connect to our TV as a display. We've already connected to it as the pattern generator here. Now we're gonna connect as a display. So we're gonna click Find LG TV. Now if you have a CX or a GX or a WX or a ZX or any of the models listed here, you will select this. If you have a BX, or the Nano 90 or Nano 85, select this. Make sure you select the correct model number that matches your television. I'm going to enter the same IP address. Hit connect. And this time you do not need to enter the pin. You will see the screen turn green. That is normal. Okay, now we can pick our picture modes. For SDR, we can pick up to five picture modes. Now, for the game mode, you cannot calibrate it using the internal media player. You would need to connect some other device like a game console and play the video from that in order to get an HDMI signal because the internal media player cannot access the game mode picture mode. Okay, so once I've selected cinema, I'm going to hit full DDC reset. This is going to reset the picture mode, uploading Unity 1D and 3D lookup tables to reset the picture mode to panel native so we can perform our LUT based calibration. You will see a calibration start and an energy saving warning pop up on your television screen. This is normal. And we can see we have a little status light here that tells us we're communicating with the TV right now. And once it goes back to green, it is complete. We can go on to our next step. We just want to make sure that this is checked. If it is, go to the next step. Now we're going to set our peak luminance. I'm going to hit measure luminance here. And 
And we want for a reference viewing environment of 100 nits, we want to hit about 115 nits before we do our calibration. So I'm going to click here and enter 30 because I know that is somewhere near where we want to be. Okay, we're a little low. I'm going to go up. We want to be right around 115, so I'm going to hit stop, and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, now before we do our grayscale calibration using a 1D lookup table, I'm going to make a recommendation on a setting you should change to ensure the most accurate calibration possible. If we go up to the gear wheel, we want to go to application measurement options here and change this to DEITP. It's a new Delta E formula that is really designed for wide color gamut, really dark shadow details, and in my opinion gets better results near black, which is one of the most important parts of calibrating an OLED is getting that transition from off to gray very accurate. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go down here and click our AutoCal button. Okay, this should be set to LG 26 points SDR. There are other options, but this is what this is the selection I would recommend doing. And then we're going to hit OK, and this is going to run for about 20 minutes to calibrate the grayscale. Okay, our 1D LUT grayscale calibration is complete. It took slightly over 20 minutes. We're going to hit OK. Then we're going to go to Next. Now we're going to hit our AutoCal button to create our 3D lookup table or 3D LUT. Now here we have a couple of options. We can either select lightning LUT, or we can do one of our IR profiles, or one of our fixed grid ones. Now lightning LUT takes 101 readings, 9 point takes 700 and a little bit over 700, 729, 17 points takes almost 5,000, and 21 points takes 10,000 measurements. I'm going to do lightning LUT for this tutorial, but I found that the fixed grid nine points is a good trade-off between time and accuracy. After that is very, very diminishing returns. Okay, so I'm going to hit lightning LUT and then hit OK. And this should take about 10 minutes.
Okay, so our lightning LUT process took a little over 12 minutes, or right on 12 minutes. We took 101 readings, so now we can hit OK. Go to Next. OK, now we can hit our read series here. Now these brightness and contrast patterns buttons do not work if you're using the internal generator. They would work if you had something like the VideoForge Pro or Meridio 6G. Okay, so now if we click on patch 100 down here, we can look, our peak luminance is 101.2 nits. I usually say if it's anywhere from plus or minus five from 100, then that's fine. So we can go to next. Now we're going to uncheck enable calibration. The screen on the TV will go to green and, and like a pink color. That's normal. Go to next. And then I recommend clicking one of the patches here. Then you will see that it will bring up a not green or pink pattern. It will be correct again. Okay, now we're going to hit our read series button. It's going to read our grayscale and color checker patch set. And that will allow us to compare a before and after. Okay, our post calibration verification measurements are complete. We can go to next. Now it will show our before and after. The before is on the top, after is on the bottom. And this is the end of the SDR BT709 calibration process. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. And thank you for watching. Until next time.